Yeah, Tim, the uh, complaint which was filed by the Labor Board alleges that Starbucks closed 23 of its stores, including this one here behind me in downtown Portland due to union organizing. But the company says that's not the case. On Wednesday, a regional office of the National Labor Relations Board issued this complaint arguing that Starbucks illegally closed nearly two dozen stores suppressing union activity. Three of those stores named in the complaint were here in Portland, located at 4th and Morrison in Southwest, Gateway in Northeast, and Kearney Plaza in the Pearl. All three are still empty after more than a year. When the company announced the closure of two of them back in July 2022, Leaders cited safety concerns as a primary reason. And at the time, some customers didn't buy it. I honestly think it's pretty safe. The federal complaint also seeks to force Starbucks to reopen all the locations listed, a handful of which had unionized. A spokesperson for the union, Workers United, wrote in part that this complaint is the latest confirmation of Starbucks' determination to illegally oppose workers organizing. Starbucks sent us a statement in response to the complaint, saying it evaluates stores every year. Quote, this includes opening new locations, identifying stores in need of investment or renovation, exploring locations where an alternative format is needed, and, in some instances, reevaluating our footprint. An administrative law judge has yet to issue a decision on this specific matter. It's not the first time the Labor Board issued a complaint alleging illegal behavior. Are you aware that NLRB judges have ruled that Starbucks violated federal labor law over 100 times during the past 18 months, far more than any other corporation in America? Back in March, Senator Bernie Sanders questioned former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz on allegations that the company was breaking labor laws. Sir, Starbucks Coffee Company unequivocally, and let me set the tone for this very early on, has not broken the law. Okay. Now, it will likely be a while until there is a decision an administrative judge set a hearing for next summer. Live in downtown, Alma McCarty, KGW.